sous vide brisket, 155 for 24 hours. Then I finished it off on the grill and look at the little fat bombs in there. Don't they look delicious? Let's make it. Brisket, don't be intimidated. It's just a piece of meat. I've cooked on little tiny barbecues. I've tried grilling. I've tried smoking on various Primo and big green eggs and even this monster up here. Today, we're gonna do sous vide. This is the easiest way. It's ridiculously easy. Now, if you remember from my my pork belly video and how to drill a hole in all of your coolers. You can treat this one the same way. You can just take your meat, in you go with some water, lid down, sous vide stick in, and let it go. So here it is uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. I'll be back three o'clock tomorrow and we'll finish it off and we're going to make a really nice gravy. It's going to go on here. Now this is from Costco. I really like the, the US, uh, USDA meat, the prime. And there's a couple of spots that I'd like to point out on the, on the brisket here. You've got the flat and then there's the, the deckle or the, the point up here. That's what I'm going to cook today. Um, to cut this up, this is a fairly small one, $29, and that's really good for prime. You always look for the, the flop. That's, that's how I pick my briskets and uh, prime is the only way to go. So what I do with this big piece of meat, I'm not cooking for a bunch of people anymore. I just cook for two really. And, but if you take a look up here, that's how I cut up my brisket. And we're going to be cooking the point today. And I'm gonna show you how delicious it is. This is what it looks like up here. That's what we're cooking. That is just moist and just beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my little cooler, right? And I'm going to, I've got water in it. There's the point. So that's the end. I've already, I've already backpacked one. So I'll cut that one up and I'll freeze it and just put it in little packages like this. Again, you can put it in frozen. This one's thawed, but I'm just gonna stick it in like this. This easy. It really is. Like that. that. Big hunk of meat right in there. I put the lid on. I'm gonna stick the Anova in and plug it in. Okay, so we're on. It turned on and I'm going to start my precision cooker up with my app. I'm gonna to go to the Anova website like this up here and I'm going to get it going. It's that simple. It's gonna render out the fat and in 24 hours we're gonna come back and we're gonna put our special rub on it and we're going to stick it onto the grill and then we're gonna make a delicious gravy to go with it. You can't get easier than this. That was super easy. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it's been 24 hours, time flies. Time to unplug this. And step one was pretty easy, I think. Just backpacking and, and putting it into um, the small little cooler for 24 hours at 155 degrees. If you don't have a cooler with holes in the lid, you can, you can use a pot. And every, every sous vide stick comes with a little bracket like that. And you can go like this and just put it in and clamp it in. Very, very easy. And put a little piece of saran wrap on the top for evaporation. You can also, I don't know if you have one of these, but it's a, um, a quick pot or an instant pot. And it's got a sous vide function on it right here. And that's a great way of uh, sous vide brisket or, or wings or thighs or whatever you're sous vide -ing. Let's have a look at this and see what, okay. Now, I'm gonna put this over here. Let's see what we've got. Um, I have three containers like this that I keep in my freezer. One for chicken, one for pork, and one for beef. And it's sous vide juice. That's all that is. And when I have enough, then I make a gravy. And that's what we're doing today. So I'm just gonna move this over like this. And what I do is I just take scissors and I cut the corner off like that. 
and I just hold it. So that's at 155 degrees right now. It's, I can just hold it by the edge. And I'm gonna pour this juice in. Hopefully I get lots. Oh yeah, look at that. So I've got a half container. That's perfect. Okay, so you get all that. Never throw your sous vide juice out. Even the chicken, if it's kind of pink, just keep it. It makes the best stock and gravy. And So I'm going to cut. I'm gonna make a mess. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on this rack right here. And I'm gonna use this, that's called a pigtail. Um, I've been using these for years. I, I'll link, I don't even know if Amazon sells them anymore. But um, basically what you do is you just take it out like that and you turn it. See how I picked that up? Watch, I come in like this, just turn it. Oh, that's kind of, turn it and release. There we go. And what we're going to, Lamborghini. What we're going to do is put some Worcestershire on the outside. Just shake it on like that. I've got my Crown, Ver my Crown Verity grill um, turned on to 300 degrees exactly. This is the Weber's rub. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible. Most times I would put my own rub on, but I'm trying to keep it really simple. So into the hot tub, 24 hours, it comes out, and I like to put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce on it. And then this is the Weber's Chicago Steak Spice. And we just want to put some of that on the outside. and It'll just kind of like melt in. We're going to cook this for two hours. And if we do it right, it's going to look like this up here. It's going to look like a little meteorite. So indirect 300. So I'm going to put it in the center here. And I've got heat on this side and heat on this side and we stick this in like this. But, I also have something else here. Since I'm, since they've got the grill on, these are little, these are little fat pieces, the, the real fat bomb. These are from the butcher. They're from ribeye steaks, the little tips on the end. He throws them out. And I say, can you save them for me? And uh, so I just picked up eight pounds, no charge. They throw them out. And for this, I like to put some fresh Himalayan salt on the top. I don't put the Weber's on. I just go with salt and fresh ground pepper, just sprinkle all over the top like that. And this is gonna go, oh geez, probably for, I'm gonna say, maybe 30, 35, 40 minutes. So I'm gonna put this in right beside the brisket point. So there we go, that's in there. That's gonna go for two hours. It's Super Bowl Sunday. I've got my poppers made, I've got my parrot sticks made, and now we're gonna have brisket with some uh, delicious gravy. So I'm gonna give this two hours, back in a minute. Okay, the brisket's finished, and the fat, and the smell is just driving me nuts. But we've gotta make some gravy first. This is my go-to gravy, and um, I come from a family where gravy is considered a beverage, so <laughs> this goes really well. This is non-smoked. Um, you know, if I'm putting it on, on my big smoker or the little one. This is just like, a, just like a, a Sunday roast beef dinner, really, and I'm trying to make it just as simple as possible. So what we're going to do here is I've got some butter, a tablespoon of butter. We're going to put that in. I've got some garlic that's minced, that's gonna go in. It's gonna be a really flavorful uh, gravy too. And two, two tablespoons of uh, white onion, kind of, it's between a dice and a mince. And, well that smells good. So we're gonna saute this for a minute. Okay, that took about 45 seconds to a minute to saute the onion and the garlic. Now we're gonna put in the sous vide juice and we're going to reduce this. But first of all, what I'm going to do is put in a little bit of better than bouillon. It really adds some nice flavor. So I'll put some of this in and I'll, I'll stir that in. 
and we'll get this up into a nice simmer and it won't take that long. I've reduced this brisket gravy by half and I wanted to show you the fond. It's all the stuff, the sticky, it's like gravy gold stuck to the side. You just scrape all that in. Look at that. That's, that's yummy. And you're probably thinking, well, you can't get better than this. Oh, you can't actually. We're going to add in half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And we're going to, this will thicken it really nicely. So we'll bring that back up. Okay, so that's thickened up nicely. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And I love fresh pepper right at the end. Same as salt. So I'm going to stir that in. And I just, that's, that will actually thicken up as it sits too. But this is a uh, really good thickener for sauces and gravies. It's a konjac root or a konjac powder. And you just put the smallest amount, dissolve it in water and put it in. But we won't need that today. So, oh, that does look good. So I'm going to pour this in without making a mess. That's a full house. That's a nice looking gravy right there. I'll get rid of this. Now, let's see what this is all about. Ooh, isn't that nice? The smell is just... Go like that, clean up my mess. Look at that brisket. Isn't that one good? Then we've got these little tidbits here. Look at that. Butcher was gonna throw them out. I'm gonna put that over here like this. I'll grab a plate. And I'm going to take, see, I just fall apart. I can't even pick it up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use my fingers. I'm gonna put this on like this. And these, I'm just going to stick around. These are real fat bombs. Why would he ever throw those out? That's the stuff that everybody fights for. Your first brisket. Thanks for watching.